Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We've got a packed house tonight. Each year about this time, we honor the life and work of Annie Walker Armstrong when we give to the annual offering from North American Missions named after her. Our goal in the campaign this year is $5,000, and we'll be talking more about that in the coming weeks. The goal tonight of our youth drama team is that when you leave here tonight, you'll know more about Annie Armstrong other than the fact that that scares Pastor John to death. <laughs> That in mind, we move forward to do a version of an old, old game show some of you might remember to tell the truth. Please welcome our panelist, Mr. Jake McMillan. <laughs> Ms. Caitlin Rollerson. Hey. And Ms. Jessica. Now we will begin to discover who the real Annie Armstrong is. I am Annie Armstrong. I am Annie Armstrong. <laughs> Armstrong. <laughs> now we'll begin our questions from our panelists to learn who the real Annie Armstrong is. Question number one, we'll begin with you. First let me say how thrilled I am to finally get to meet the woman our church has talked about for so many years. Every spring we give to the Annie Armstrong Easter offering and I've wondered just who is this Annie Armstrong. This first question is for each of you to answer. Annie, just when did you live and where? I was born in 1850 and died in 1938. I lived most of my life in Washington, D.C. I was born in 1850 and died in 1938. I lived most of my life in Baltimore, Maryland. I was born in 1920 and I'm not dead yet. Do I look dead? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Annie. My question is for Annie 3 and Annie 2. Miss Annie, I am the WNU director at my church. Just what role did you play in the beginning of the Women's Missionary Union? I was a treasurer of this fine organization and raised lots of money for church work. By the way, do you like my hat? <laughs> I was the first corresponding secretary and I worked without pay during my years of service. Thank you, Miss Annie. And yes, I do like that hat, Miss Annie. To all the Miss Annie, what drove you to be so missions minded? My church, First Baptist Boston, did much mission work, and I always took part in projects, so my love came from that. My family and my church, Utah Place Baptist Church, instilled in me a love for missions. I heard of the needs of Southern Baptist missionaries at home and abroad. I felt compelled to help them share Christ's love with all people. I liked visiting all the exotic places like China and New Orleans. Those crawfish are just delicious. <laughs> I don't ever mind doing a missions work project where there's going to be fancy restaurants and wonderful sightseeing tours. <laughs> For all the Annies, I understand you encourage women to be missions minded. What did you suggest they do? Help the mission boards. In a nutshell, I encourage them to pray for missions, give to missions, and do missions. Meet together and plan great socials. <laughs> and yes, we talk about missions some too. <laughs> Miss Annie's one and two. How did you travel? By horse drawn wagon. <clears throat> By horse drawn wagon and on horseback. This question is for all three, Miss Annie's. I understand you knew Miss Lottie Moon. Is that correct? <laughs> if so, how did you help her missionary work? I went to China and worked with Miss Moon many times. I corresponded with Miss Moon and supported her work. I encouraged women to start an offering to support the work of foreign missions. That offering is still taken up each year during the Christmas season. Oh, I just love sharing recipes with Miss Lottie soon. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Annie, too. The annual home missions offering was named after you in 1934. Why is that? 
I was surprised, and I did protest when they said they wanted to name it after me, but they convinced me to accept the honor. I helped start the offering, really. Back in 1895, I helped women establish a week of self-denial for home missions. That first offering raised more than $5,000. I'm just thrilled that this year, Southern Baptist will raise more than $54 million to help our missionaries. This is for all the Annies. I understand you're a prolific letter writer to the Southern Baptist leaders, advocating missionaries and urging advancement of Southern Baptist missions. How many letters did you write each week? Um, oh, a dozen or so. Well, I'm not sure. I know in one year alone, in 1893 to be exact, I wrote more than 18,000 letters. It exhausts me just to think about it. I just hate getting ink on my hands. I just dictated the letters to someone else, so I technically didn't. Right? <laughs> This is just a guess, but I believe it's Miss Annie Warren. Definitely Miss Annie too. Miss Annie 3 seems the most authentic to me. <laughs> <laughs> Will the real Annie Armstrong please stand? just like Miss Annie. 100% of the gifts given to the offerings go to missionaries and their work. As you give, also commit to pray for our North American mission efforts. Our missionaries are depending on us. The last words Jesus left us with before he ascended to the Father was instruction that we all are to become missionaries. The mission field is anywhere there's an unsaved person. The mission field can be on the pew beside you tonight. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Let us pray. Dear Holy Father, God, I want to thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for this place we can come together and worship you. Lord, thank you for this gift we had tonight, God. And I pray that through this we would learn to be missions minded like Annie Armstrong, Lord, who devoted her life and her work to serving you. I pray as we go throughout our day today, Lord, that we would serve you in everything we do. I pray for the service that somebody would be touched by this teaching tonight. Thank you for all you do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you. Bravo, bravo.